so this Tesla is from 2013. Uh, the model is A85 and uh, it has around 260,000 kilometers on it. Uh, the battery has been refurbished once, but we are not sure what they did to the battery. Uh, did they change the modules or it was just some other kind of malfunction? But uh, considering that the car is now, I think, uh, almost 10 years old, I think it's pretty good. And now there is some kind of errors that we need to check with the isolation and we will see what's wrong with the car and you will find out about it in this video. Hello dear customizators, this video is sponsored by EV Clinic and as I said in the introduction, this car has an isolation fault. Every electric vehicle has a safety component called isometer and that component is constantly measuring isolation of the high voltage system to the electric vehicle chassis. And you don't want 400 volts on your vehicle chassis because it could be very dangerous. Isometer is very sensitive, so in most cases it can detect a compromised isolation early enough and preemptively shut down high voltage systems. Most common case for isolation fault is water, and non-distilled water conducts electricity. It must not be present inside the battery pack. In this case, we are suspecting some of the hermetic sealing on the battery was bad and water entered the battery. We need to disassemble the battery casing and inspect all the modules for water or moisture. And as we remove the front cover from the battery, our suspicions were confirmed. We can see moisture everywhere. Moisture here. on the tubes, everything is full of water. These are the umbrella valves and their function is to let air pressure in or out of the battery, but not water. We open each of them just to check if any water would come out. When we remove them, there was also some signs of water on them. And then we continue to open the rest of the battery pack. We remove the front two modules and they will be dried out, tested in the laboratory and refurbished if necessary. Now we remove the battery lid so we can test the other modules for water ingress. And as you can see there's quite a lot of water in here. This Mitsa sheet needs to be replaced. So we have checked these two sides and now we need to check everything on other side so the other side is going to be opened and checked for water. The battery was left open during the night to dry out and this module was flooded, this one and on the other side these two modules were in the water. To properly seal the battery pack, all sealant needs to be removed. Drying and refurbishing of the modules is done. Unfortunately for you, I could not record this, as these techniques are a trademark secret by EV Clinic. The refurbish of the battery pack is complete. We didn't find exactly what is the problem and why water ingress happened, but this is the probable cause. This bolt wasn't sealed correctly. Water got inside around this thread and got inside on this side of the battery pack. We didn't see anything similar. I repaired about 20 battery packs. I never saw that water ingress happens on the, this bolt and thread. Uh, we will prevent this from happening and this could be probably, probably a unique uh, case with issue with this bolt. So are the modules are all good? Yeah, we refurbished the number 10 uh, block, refurbished it completely, uh, repaired the BMB, and we put this uh, number 10 block on this position. If something happens again with this block, if something uh, wasn't seen in the beginning of the re repair of the refurbished block, uh, we, will, we would be able just to open the front penthouse and change this block if 
if it would be needed. Yeah, because it's much easier, because yeah. here you have separate lid, yeah. uh, compared to this, where it's everything is one big, huge piece. Yeah. piece yeah. So this screw that he was talking about, uh, where the water most probably entered, goes here and probably this part was not sealed properly and the water was going from above and through the screw inside the battery pack and also the same on this side so you can see all the rust on the screw meaning that the water was definitely here yeah testing uh, complete battery pack on the bench without uh, putting it on the car. We will connect directly to all 16 BMBs with our tool. Now we see all 16 blocks, that means uh, everything is okay. Even if one, for example, if one uh, BMB is disconnected, we wouldn't have any communication with uh, battery pack. First, what we need to see how big delta is 8 millivolts is almost perfect. Uh, maximum allowed on this state of the charge, I think it's about 45 millivolts. Total battery pack voltage 373. This is okay. Complete BMS state is happy, balancing all 96 bricks. Our job is done. Now we assemble it. So, can a battery pack with water ingress be repaired? Yes, it can, and there is no reason to change the entire battery pack because of it. It's not very uncommon for Tesla not wanting to do a repair like this and offer only to replace the entire battery pack. If the battery pack is out of warranty, this can be very expensive, so independent service centers like EV Clinic are very important for the future of EVs. If you want more information about EV Clinic, you can visit their website, link is in the description below. And if you like this kind of content, consider subscribing and also hit the notification icon so you get notified of any new videos. And now you can enjoy the rest of the assembly process. It seems everything works, we have start. 